In this video, I talk about day one of my 30 day challenge to start a successful e-commerce business. So after these 30 days, I plan on launching a Kickstarter kind of to test the business, but also within these 30 days, I want to set up a Shopify and e-commerce store as well. And I'm giving myself only 30 days because I want to make sure I get it done in a timely and efficient manner. And I'm also trying to track my progress. I'm actually gonna keep track of what do I do on every day, what mistakes do I make along the way, and the hope is that I can give the knowledge to other people looking to start their own business. And if you are looking to start an e-commerce business, at the end of this video, I'll tell you a way how I'll help you. I'll give you a free consulting session, absolutely for free. Stay till the end of this video to find out more about that. But I wanna talk a little bit more of what my 30-day challenge is. So what I plan on doing is, within 30 working days, starting a Kickstarter, starting a successful e-commerce business. And all I have right now is an idea. I'm starting to test exactly, um, I haven't even made any products yet. So I'm actually going out, testing, making sure that people actually wanna buy the product. And I'm not gonna give away exactly what it is, but I'll give some context to what it's about. So it's gonna be in the health nutrition space. It is gonna be a food item, kind of like a supplement, but a little bit different. There's nothing else that's exactly like it out there. There's things that are somewhat similar, but one of the big things that's gonna differentiate what I'm doing from what's already out there is I'm targeting a completely different demographic. So I'm targeting the biohackers, the paleo diet people, the ketogenic diet people, the CrossFit, the people that are really interested in nutrition, really interested in health. Um, the product that I'm looking at doing is also a consumable product and one of my goals is to get people on a repeat buy cycle. So every 15 days or every month they get an automatic shipment to their door. And I highly recommend if you're looking at starting an e-commerce business, if you can think of something where people are going to come back to you over and over again, that's like the key. Because it sucks when you do all this work to sell someone and they only buy from you one time. So that's what I'm doing. I'll, now this is day one, so this, I'm going to give a little recap of what I did in day one. So day one I did a few different things. The first thing I did was actually research. I did some research on my competitors, who's already out there, who's doing something similar, and I found some people who are doing something somewhat similar to what I want to do. I think I can do better marketing than they, they do, and they also don't target the same demographics that I'm targeting. So that was one of the first things I did. I also just did some research on basically what other, what other similar websites are out there, what kind of things aren't necessarily direct competitors, but are somewhat similar. After that, what I actually did was I made a, I went through and did a five page, this is five different pages of like a customer avatar. So I, this is, what is this? Um, this is one of my guys that would basically buy from me potentially. So this guy in particular, he's paleo. So we'll call him Paleo Pete. So Paleo Pete lives in Colorado. He is, uh, he does consulting, so he travels around a lot. So my product's perfect for him, because he's constantly on the go. He wants something healthy and nutrition, like high in nutrition. Talks about like what are his political views, what uh, websites does he go to, what are his favorite brands. So his favorite brands are on it, and possibly Natural Stacks, which actually I have a friend that owns Natural Stacks. Um, he also, what websites does he go to? He looks at paleo recipes. He does a bunch of different stuff. And to find a lot of this data, I actually did a Facebook, you can go into Facebook ads and they have audience insights. So I said, people that like the Paleolithic diet, what else do they like? What other kind of websites? What other kind of interests do they have? Probably a fan of Tim Ferriss. Probably, a, maybe a fan of Dave Asprey. And you learn a lot about your demographic by doing this. I'm actually gonna do a video and I'll, once I do the video, I'll put the link down below in the show notes. But I'm gonna do a complete video talking about audience insights and how powerful it is when you're creating the customer avatars. And so I have this, which is like a five page customer avatar. Ask all kinds of questions. List at least three problems your ideal customer is having that makes them an ideal customer for your brand. Just gets you thinking a little outside the box and it makes you do some research as well. I also condensed it down to just a one page. I haven't done the one page yet which I probably should, but I have the template. And both these, you can get for free if you click up here, you can get the e-commerce success pack that I have. And it includes a lot of really great stuff, but I also I include the templates for the five page avatar workbook and the one page condensed one. And in the one page condensed one, one of the cool things 
is you're actually supposed to put a picture of what your avatar looks like. And so every time you're thinking about making a business decision, you have to ask yourself, would Paleo Pete find this interesting? Would CrossFit Chris find this interesting? And for me, I did three separate avatars. I did one, someone that's really into the paleo diet. Then I did another one, someone that's really into biohacking, biohacking Brett. And then someone that's really into CrossFit. Those three different people helped me shape my brand. And in doing the Facebook audience insights, I actually realized that a lot of women are into the paleo diet and into CrossFit. In fact, there's like 80% women, 20% men that were interested in paleo and CrossFit, which was really surprising to me. And part of that could be that women are more likely to click the like button on the CrossFit community or the paleo community. But either way, that's really interesting. And it made me realize that my branding I was originally gonna skew it towards just a male demographic, but I think that I should probably keep it a little bit more neutral. So that's some of the big things that I'm doing there. The other thing I did is actually planned out what are the next 30 days gonna look like. And once again, if you click up and get the e-commerce success pack, you can see what my plan is for the next 30 days. And once I'm done with this entire 30 day challenge, I'll actually put in there exactly what I did. So if you're watching this in the future, and the 30 day challenge is done, you can click up there and you can actually see what did I think I was gonna do versus what I actually did. And I'm sure they're gonna be very, very different. And I know it's somewhat ambitious for me to think within 30 days I can launch a successful Kickstarter. Um, I know within 30 days I could easily start an e-commerce website, but the Kickstarter makes it a little bit scarier just because I wanna have, I want it to be successful and I want it to get a lot of good press. So one of the things I plan on doing is going on a lot of podcasts, contacting a lot of bloggers, sending some free product out, maybe Instagram uh, influencers, contacting some of them. But really the scariest part for me, and one of the things I was focusing on yesterday, when I actually, this is a recap, so this is the day after, but yesterday when I was actually working on this, was co-packers. Because I don't want to have to pack this stuff myself. And so I was stressing out a lot trying to think, how am I gonna find people that can manufacture and make this for me and the, the box that it's gonna come in and the individual packets it's gonna look like and there's a lot of work to be done. But what I finally realized is I don't necessarily need a co-packer. Worst case scenario, I could hire some employees, I can rent out a kitchen for the day and just make it myself for the first initial batch. And then as we scale up, I could find a co-packer. But either way, one of the biggest things I realized is that's not something I have to deal with right now. Right now, what I have to deal with is testing my demographic, seeing if they like it, tweaking the recipe. So what I did is I ordered a bunch of, basically the stuff I need to make my initial batch run. And I'm gonna have three different flavors um, it, of my product. So basically, I'm trying not to give anything away. I will, I will give away what I'm doing later, probably around day 15 or 16, something like that. But right now I wanna keep it a secret just because I'm talking a step by step of what I'm doing and I'm only working on it one day a week. So if someone were to take my idea, they could probably get it done before I even get a chance to. So anyways, what I'm planning on doing is getting the first batch out, going to some CrossFit gyms, going to some people that I know that would be interested in buying my product and asking them, what do you think about this? Is this something that you would pay for? Is the, how's it taste? Is the, you know, everything. And then I want to iterate, I want to make a few batches and around batch four or five, I'll probably say, hey, that's good enough. Hopefully if it is actually good enough. And then I will start focusing a little bit more on the branding, on the packaging, all that kind of stuff. So that was a lot. So for day one, I did a decent amount of work. I've already, it's, I'm really happy to get the ball rolling on all that. Um, that was some of the biggest things I did. So the, the thing, since this is the end of the video, I do want to say if you do, if you are looking to start your own online store and you do want my help, I am available for consulting, but if you want to get it for free, all you have to do, there's a link up here, click up there. I highly recommend going with Shopify if you have, want to build an e-commerce store. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build my e this e-commerce store on Shopify. So if you use my link up here, or there's also a link down in the show notes, Sign up for your Shopify account. I get a small kickback. So in exchange, I will give you a free consulting session. So if you do want to start an e-commerce store, click the link down below or up here. Sign up for Shopify, and which, trust me, hands down, Shopify is the way to go. Sign up, sign up for Shopify, and I'll give you a free one-on-one -on -one consulting session. Also, if you're looking to start your own e-commerce store, 
I have a ton of videos, I'll put some links down below, a ton of videos on how to start your store, how to get traffic to your store. Subscribe, for, subscribe to this YouTube channel and I guarantee uh, you'll find out, if you're new to e-commerce, you'll find out a ton. Basically, I've taken everything that I've learned in the last three and a half, four years of starting my e-commerce store. For those of you that don't know, and this is your first video, I have another e-commerce store that's done over a million dollars in revenue. It's B Dancewear, and so it sells dance clothing, something I'm not passionate about. That's part of the reason I wanted to start this business, was to start something that I'm actually passionate about. Anyways, so I know a little bit of what I'm talking about, so if you're interested, click that subscribe button down below, and definitely check out my channel. Thank you for watching. This is once again day one. I'm really excited to be starting a new business. I'm going to post a recap video every day after I'm done working. And hopefully in 30 days, I will have a successful Kickstarter launch and an e-commerce store ready to go. So thank you for watching this video.